Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Empower to Write training course for aspiring Christian authors. So happy that you're able to join us today. And I do hope that this training will be a blessing to you and will help you to get to the next level in your author's journey. So in this masterclass, we will cover one, five reasons you are equipped to write, four excuses you must stop telling yourself as an aspiring author, three, how to get over writer's block, next we will cover three spiritual insights you need before you write your book, and finally we will close with the 10 easy steps to complete your book. Along with this masterclass, there is a free ebook called Bring Your Book to Life. You can use this book also to help you to get your manuscript completed. So, who am I? I'm Crystal Lee, award winning author, two times Amazon bestseller, international speaker, and the COO of Daylight Publishers. And I help persons to burn that God has placed them on their heart. I help them to write the book, brand the book, publish the book, and of course, increase the sales. Now, I'm very passionate about helping individuals to get their God-given message published so that they can impact lives and build, kingdom, and build the kingdom of God. I've written four printed books and over six e-books. I've also assisted since one year, since 2017, yes, since 2017, I've assisted over 20 persons to publish their books and 10 specifically so far have been published on a daylight and I'm, I have more clients coming out this year in 2018. So I'm, I know a little bit about getting your book published and basically this training is the steps that not just I, but I also assist my clients to use, get their books done within even 90 days or less. So let's jump in. But before we jump in, how I start my masterclasses is through prayer because this, I believe, is the essence of what we are called to do, which is partner with God to get his purpose completed. So let us pray. So Father in heaven, as we come before you this day, Father, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence, to come as we listen to this masterclass, Lord. I pray that each and every person that listens, it will be blessed, mighty God. I pray that you are already downloaded the ideas that they need to get your book completed, mighty God. I pray that your steps as their steps will be ordered by you as you are promising your word lord god and we pray that even as they write the book publish the book brand the book sell the book lord that it will go out and it will impact and it will change and transform lives we bless you for who you are in jesus name amen so now let us jump in no Five reasons you are equipped to write. Many persons um, on, to me on a daily basis and like, and what ask, you know, but Crystal, I mean, I know that I have a story, but I'm just not sure if my story is good enough or I should I even write because there's so much books out there. And that's, I always hear from persons that there's so much books on that topic. You know, why should I even bother? No. The truth is, yes, Solomon promises us that there's nothing new under the sun. But each of us have something you need to offer. So even if we go through the same situation, and thank you, Holy Spirit, what just came to mind, think about the Gospels. The four disciples, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they walked with Christ. But as you read, different stories are different. Even though it's the same stories, sometimes how each person saw it was different and it gives us a different view and perception of who God is, but also just give us more insight on just the storyline and what happened while Christ was on earth. 
So I always encourage persons to think about Matthew 13 to 16 that says, he, you're, you are the salt of the earth, and if the salt has lost its savor, where shall it be sal salted? If it's therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden on that foot of men, you are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. So basically, I mean, if we go down, it says, light so shine before men that they may see your good works, I mean, my good works, your good works, our good works, and glorify my God, your God, which is in heaven. So even before I list the five reasons that that is there, I want you to just think about the idea that as believers, call to go there like it says if we are solved right this we why shouldn't we go out there right we are the light of the world let our light so shine right so that others may see what we have done and how god the lord has changed us and glorified god in heaven so why should you right you have a story. You have an experience. You have knowledge and education, right? So you have been through something. You have you have gained knowledge. You have intellect. You have a passion and a message. You have a passion and a message. Now, when I think about a person, there's something that you are passionate about, right? There's something that you feel driven to, to share on whether it could be single motherhood, it could be, you know, your story of purpose, it could be your forgiveness, but there's something that you are passionate about and that has given you a message. Um, as Matthew 5 tells us that we are called for impact and that's a reason for us to write because as believers, we have something that we need to just go out there one we use it to encourage other believers but we also use it as a as a tool to help the disciples right we use it as a tool to evangelize we use it to mentor so you are called and equipped to write and i would say you are also anointed to write so one of the persons will say but i'm not such a good writer you know i'm not very I, i'm not sure if i can put the words on paper in a way that others may understand. And what I can say is that many of us, many persons might not be gifted to write. And when you think about giftings, you think about, you know, that spe specific gift um, or talent that God has given you, passionate about writing, you're driven to write, but you are anointed to write. And anointed means, you know, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and he will equip you to write to write right so these are some of the reasons why you are equipped to write no i want to tackle five excuses that you must stop telling yourself as an aspiring author these are the things that um i hear all the time and i've just i'm just here to help you to tackle those so excuse one is i'm not ready and one of the things i would say to somebody you know why is it that we think that tomorrow is promised to us why I do understand that sometimes things go in timing and different seasons and probably in a season where, okay, it's not for you to write now, but the truth is, I believe if you are watching this masterclass, you, there is some kind of interest for you to write. So now is the time in writing. Now is the time to get it out there, right? And one of the things I've learned is that sometimes the Lord, when we, we delay obedience, disobedience and when we disobey then a lot of times the lord might give the idea to someone else and that has happened to me so you are no is a time right you are already as i said anointed to write excuse two is that i don't have enough money and what i can say is that we find money to do what we desire to do i'm sure think about writing a book you might spend maximum say 2000 us or so right i mean it varies it can be less it can be more but if you think about into do a degree you 
pay probably about more than the 2,000 US for a year, right? Now, persons are saying, well, a degree is different from a book. Um, yes and no, because the book can open many, many doors for you also. Your book can be used as that um, almost resume, that, that brand builder, that business builder, um, and just open many opportunities and doors, just the same. But if you believe that God has called you for this, then, you know, I believe we find the money to do what we need to do. You know, we give thanks for our companies like Create Space, well, um, KDP, um, Ingram Sparks, and these self platforms that are, have allowed us to, to be able to, to publish more affordable, right? So, yeah, that's not an excuse. Or that should be your excuse. Uh, excuse number three is I'm not good at English. No, this is not a valid response because editors and proofreaders are made to guide you on this. This is why you have these persons, professional persons that know how to edit, right? And even if you feel that you are a good writer, the truth is you must still invest in an editor because we we won't always, especially when we are writing, we won't always see the different errors. No, also ghost writing is an option where you can speak and the person basically write it for you, right? And you have other um, software transcribe where you can speak and they transcribe it for you, etc. So that's not a, a valid excuse. No, number four excuse to say I don't have anything to say. No, I would say there might not be a new topic, but you will bring a new message, a new voice, a new language, a new experience that is unique to you, and it can and it will reach someone. So as I mentioned before, that we all have different experiences, we have different messages, different um, different skills and experiences and knowledge. So we have things to say if we need to say it. And then also we remember that we are led by the Holy Spirit, and it is the will anoint us to complete and write as he sees fit. Uh, excuse five is my books won't sell. No, I can say that's true if you don't market the book. You write a book and like, okay, an expert person to show up with to just buy a book that is so not true. But this is why we start building a platform and visibility before we even start writing the book. And if you are of, if you have already written a book, it's not too late for you to start marketing and building your personal brand to sell more books. So those are the excuses that I've heard and I really wanted to tackle. Now, another thing that we hear a lot is writer's block, right? Persons talk about um, having writer's block and it's almost like an excuse sometimes or some kind of crutch in a way to, to basically convince us that we should not write. Now, one of the things I believe is that we, when we are passionate about something, we don't have to talk about it. So think about when we are out with our friends and something happened and we just talk, talk, talk. We don't get a block. We don't. So this writer's block thing, a lot of times, say one is just an excuse because we are procrastinating on what we need to get done another thing that i i, I would say when it comes on to writers the idea of block is that when you feel passionate about something as i mentioned before then it comes more naturally right when it is something that we are driven by it also naturally right now in order for you to overcome writer's block one you need to create a vision for your book with a why statement is it that you are writing this book um you know uh, a lot of motivational speakers will tell you the why the drive is behind the why is the driver behind what we so once you create a vision for the book once you know why you're writing this book what is it that you want to accomplish you know do you want to just impact teenagers with 
your message you want to encourage single mothers do you want to write a book to men to help them to whatever it is just use the why because when those times come and another thing spirit um that what happen when you're writing is that truly there there are times when we are feeling a block but it's a spiritual block so understand that when you're writing a book the enemy is not pleased so he will he will do things to delay and derail god's purpose life so many times the blocks that we are experiencing it could be a spiritual warfare and we know the word of god tells us that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood so it means that you feel this coming on then probably it's time for you to pray and fast and push through so the second i needed to say that no the second is pray before you write always before you write in your prayer and number three you write from a place of passion as i mentioned before um because when we are passionate about something then we it comes more naturally, right when it's passionate about a topic you you're able to let it flow more fluently and uh, number four is write for an audience so don't write find an audience for the book you know who you're writing to who needs your story who has the problem that your book will solve and understand that your book is everyone it must have an audience number five is talk from a genuine place right don't try to to copy what you hear other people say don't try to yeah just talk from that genuine place that place of experience that place of passion that place of um just encouragement number six you have to believe in yourself right uh, there's a quote that says if you do if no one believes in you you can still succeed but you will never succeed if you don't believe in yourself so understand and as you are about to author journey start believing yourself start speaking life i'm already a best-selling author i'm already i on, on if you follow daylight publishers instagram page we have we authors affirmation where we post in different affirmations that we believe that authors can speak over their life even as they write the book publish the book and market their books um write freely without any, you know so you want to write without going back and editing because i believe that once you start writing and the holy spirit is leading you then just write don't try to 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 think about word spelling and punctuation just write because also remember we pay persons to to get that part done but we want to just write another thing that we is to talk about the topic and record it so there are times even when i was writing my first book and i'll be in the the, the, the public transportation or the bus and then um you know something pops in my mind and I take out my phone and write it in the memo section or if i i don't want to write it it's too long then i'll take out my phone and record it and then when i get a chance i listen it right so you want to do it. and these are some of the steps that you can help to overcome your writer's block no three spiritual insights you need before you write your book and the first one is of course pray 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 right the prayer is a dialogue not a monologue so you're not just going to god and just like god this is what i want and talking talking but it's a dialogue once you speak then you stop and be still and hear what he has to say right um two is research scriptures right you want to be writing about ensure that it is aligned to what God has said, nothing that is contradicting his word. So you want to just research scriptures on the topics and just ensure that you are writing does not contradict the word of God. And of course, we talk about the power of fasting, right? We know fasting helps to even go deeper into just tapping into your spiritual man and your spirit man. So you want to be okay with fasting too. Now, I wanted to add that we need to find time to write, right? So find time, that the appropriate time to write. You want to drink a lot of water. Water help you to keep focused and hydrated as you write. 
um, it's always good to just schedule the time to write because we all live busy, busy lives. So you think about what day works for you so if you are a morning person it means you probably have to sacrifice a wake up an extra 30 minutes before if you're a night person like me like i i am i work very good at night so when everybody's asleep i will do an all-nighter kind of person um i had a, a client who was a nurse and what she did when her best time to during her lunch time at work so once she's lunch time she writes at work during the lunch time so know know yourself and probably if you're just starting to to start you might not quite be quite sure when is the best time that your idea flows and try it all the time try it in the morning you realize there's a lot to block try it in the afternoon and then try it in the night and see which time works right understand that you have to be vulnerable as you write. Even if you're not writing about yourself, even if you're just writing a kind of self-help book, it might not be a memoir, but if you're even writing a self-help book, you don't want to just write from a place of information. Information are saying things that you have not even heard yourself, you know? Or you want to ensure that you be vulnerable. No, 10 easiest complete your book one we can't um we can't stress enough the importance of praying for guidance as proverbs 3 5 tells us trust in the lord with all our heart and lean on our own understanding in all our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our path so we want to pray for guidance the next step is to define your why right in everything we do we must have and as we mentioned earlier, the why, your why statement will be the motive and be the encouragement and be that driver that will push you when you are not, you know, feeling as motivated as you want. Um, number three is identify the topic. What topic it do you want to write on? You know, what in this season that you feel like the Lord wants you to share on because all of us can write about different things uh, different experiences but which one is it that you should write about right now uh, number five create a book outline you need an outline for your book um, your outline is the roadblock the roadmap sorry the, the, so is the, the outline is like your GPS this will help you to you know know that you are writing in a way that persons will understand, whether it be a chronological order, be writing um, in terms of your uh, different ways that you could write a book. It could be in, a, in a different topics. It could be in date order. So you want to just have an idea. This sixth step is write a blurb, which is the book summary. You want to know. What is it that your, your idea reader will get from this book? And you want that to be very clear, right? So that book summary. Then uh, is start building your author brand. Now, as we mentioned that your brand is, is basically that would help you persons to trust what you have to say, building your platform, right? So putting yourself out there, you want to, when I start blogging before, you want to do some Facebook Live, do some Facebook posts, do some Instagram Lives. You know, you want to putting yourself out there. That's what branding. And I want and staying consistent. Um, as we mentioned before, you need to make time and schedule time to write. Because if you don't, then you won't have a manuscript. If you don't have a manuscript, then all the other things it won't make sense because the manuscript is the book, right? Um, step nine, thinking about how you'll market the book, right? Start preparing a marketing plan from before. Start thinking how you will get the book in the hands of your ideal readers, right? And step 10 is to hire a team to help you publish, right? So even if you're self-publishing the book, the truth is I would not encourage you to, to try to do everything yourself. Um, as Christians, we have to remember that what we do is we are representing God. We are representing the God of the universe and he does everything. 
excellence. When you look at the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees, you see and even just how we call how humans are. You understand? We we are so unique. God is unique. God is creative. So you you want to do it in excellence. And when you think about excellence, you want to ensure that. You hire a team that will help you to put this out there right so I, I really want to just run over the steps again pray define your why identify your topic what is it that you want to write about three points that you can share what is the benefit what solution does your book provide right um or know who your ideal reader is. Step five is writing that blurb, writing, oh, sorry, is doing that book outline and using that GPS. Step six is um, writing the blurb or writing a book summary. Step seven is start building your author platform. Step eight is making the time to write. And step nine is to start thinking about how you will market a book. And step 10 is to help to hire a team to help you publish. So, yeah, basically that's it for this masterclass. Um, because you are empowered to write, it's time for you to get writing, and that's what that is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, you know, even as I think about some stuff coming to me now, you want to think about your chapter, your your book title, right? You want to kind of know. Put a, together a title that will is marketable, but also capture what you have to say. They want to do a title that persons will 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 be interested when you hear about when you hear the title. You'll be like, okay, what is this about? I really want to know more about this, right? So you want to ensure that you have a, a good title. You want to ensure, as I mentioned, that your packaging is. It's professionally, you don't want to do anything that is mediocre, right? You don't want to do that kind of media thing. Um, you, you want to, you know, do research. I always encourage persons to do research. You want to encourage people to do research on the topic that you, you are writing about. I always encourage people to do that, right? Um, anything else? I, I when I do my master classes, persons know that I I just give freely. I just talk freely, um, because I really want. This is what I'm passionate about: helping persons to get their their books out. I really do believe that we're in a season where we have so much to share and so much to learn. I can't even, the many books that I've read right, that have just really been a blessing to me, and I wonder, you know, if those persons did write their books. Of course, there are other ways that would have given us the information, but books is, is just amazing, right? You always, your book, after, as Maz Monroe would say that, you know, your books leave a legacy, so if we're gone, then we will the book will remain and somebody will be blessed even if they never get a chance to meet us, right? Um, having a vision for your book and understanding your vision will open doors for you, right? We talked about mindset, we talk about outline, right? Is that GPS. We talk about having that blurb, right? Um, the paragraphs on the back of the book, you want to use vivid verbs and adverbs and, you know, just use words that will strike an emotion and get persons interested in what you have to say right you want you want to do that you want to of course you know the book isn't going to write itself so you want to ensure that you schedule time to get this done just reviewing what is it that you want to say and write down what you want to say and i just want to just encourage you that no more procrastination it's time to get it done and if you're a masterclass the truth is because you feel you feel that something you you know that this is a season for it because if you weren't in the season then you wouldn't be subscribing you wouldn't master class you wouldn't be listening to this master class so i wanted to encourage you to you know get writing you know 
of course, if you still need help, I want you to schedule a complimentary, a free, is a free virtual book session with us. Um, in this session, it will help you to discover what is holding you back from writing your book, clarify your book ideas, so an impactful book, and get clear on your next steps of becoming a published author. Now, this is a complimentary session. As I say, you can go on the website, www publishers.com and you can check out how I can assist you because even though I've given you all of these tools um, you might need an accountability you might need a book quote somebody that will help you to to get it done without you spending months and months trying to figure it out you know that's getting help getting accountability a partner might not be as disciplined as we would want to and that is fine because i'm sure you're disciplined in other area so you might want as some kind of help and that's what i'm here to do right and daylight is saving time so i want you to visit our website schedule a session with us today right so we can just get on the phone and you can give me ideas and some feedback and i can just encourage you we talk about even hiring a professional help daylight publishers is a one-stop shop for all your marketing we do marketing um you know your book cover your retractable banner anything that you need designed towards your book we do that we offer publishing um service we, we offer editing for services purchasing the isbn number all of these things right that to ensure that your book gets out to the market and that at the end persons won't even know that it's so it's because we try our best to to ensure that everything is done is done in excellence so that's my encouragement again i'm crystal day thank you for joining me for this master class uh day like let's go visit our website and um yeah i'm looking forward to hearing from you i'm looking forward to talking to you on the phone all right, so I'll see you soon. God bless you.